uh, hello everyone uh, welcome to my uh, channel uh, and in today's video we will see how we can create a circular bar plot basically i think you know how we can uh, use bar plot for example if we have one uh, continuous variable and with the other factor variable uh, we're going to use a bar plot to uh, to display uh, more nicely. And if we have a large number of bars, uh, in that case, we uh, better to use a, a circular bar plot. For example, if we have a record of a patient uh, for a particular or for a different disease as hospital, we can uh, nicely uh, uh, display this using circular bar plot if we have like number of uh, disease and admitted patient, number of admitted patient uh, for uh, different diseases at a given hospital using that record, we're going to uh, display nicely using this uh, circular bar graph. Uh, the basic idea of circular uh, bar graph is more or less uh, similar with the the other bar graph, but we make use of like circular uh, system uh, to display more nicely uh, and easily uh, actually. And now for this particular exercise, uh, we're going to create our own data because I couldn't find any data from anywhere, uh, but I practically made a, some uh, sort of video using the other data from hospital, but that is for the sake of the publicizing, it's, it's not actually alloyed by the author at, that, at this particular moment. Later on, I will show you practically the true wicked uh, data normally. Uh, so uh, here uh, we can create a vectors, two vectors, the first vector uh, contain uh, letters from A to Z, uh, assigning this uh, to late. And here we created this uh, like 26 letters from A to Z. Uh, and then we create value data using sample command from uh, 10 to 100 in 23 rows. Uh, to fit with the other, other vector that is a letter we have created here. Then we created another, uh, another uh, vector, which has uh, 26 uh, actually values in uh, 26 rows in, in this case. And then we create binding this both together, we can create data frame. So using that data frame command in R, we can merge or bring together these two vectors as data frame. So here we have data frame uh, having two variables. Uh, variables are in R always in column and observations are always in rows. That is a, a case also in Excel and other uh, data uh, analysis and manipulation softwares. And here we can uh, see how our data looks uh, inside. Actually, like we have uh, variables on late, a variable and values on, on the other side, and a to z variable and value for every, uh, every letter in this case. Then uh, we're going to use, uh, here we have to load library a library uh, that is ggplot2, ggplot2. Uh, I already loaded, but for sake of this, I can call here. And then uh, I'm using this data. I put ggplot here at the first, and then I give data, which data I'm using is, is simply here, div data. And then I will give aesthetic of this uh, I mean, aesthetic from this data, like lates on x-axis and value on y-axis. And I would like to fill with, with letters in this case. 
a and then i going to give like i would like to have a bar plot uh, and then i would give start here simply i have to write identity and this is not basic thing but you can add like either to have white background or whatever background and i want to uh, show you here legend therefore i said name in this case and i would avoid this part and i run only only this part then here you can see uh, my plot is very uh, big uh, actually uh, like very large bars because it uh, runs from a to z it looks not that nice but you can see it uh, here uh, to make like a circular plot, uh, we add this command only code polar start from uh, zero here and we add uh, to have like a circle in the center we add this actually y limit from minus uh, 50 to 200 then if we run this command uh, we can see nicely how this uh, looks actually i make this a little bit bigger and you can uh, you can appreciate how it looks like so the letters are here around the the circle and we can see the values for every letter uh, corresponding to the the letter itself and we can see how it nicely uh, nicely visualized here. So practically, if we would like to compare, for example, countries uh, based on their GDPs, uh, it's not nice to show or to visualize simple bar graph. But using such a bar graph, we can nicely compare the GDP of countries in a particular year or a GDP of a country, a single country, a, in different different years, how it, it goes like from 1981 to 2020 or 2022, uh, we can simply compare using uh, these like uh, graphs. A particularly in, uh, in health, and in uh, normally like in uh, medicine area is very nicely implemented. I saw many uh, works uh, published using this uh, uh, bar graph. And maybe in next video, I will show you using uh, actual uh, data set uh, asking from uh, some of my friends. I hope I can get it. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, watching and please subscribe uh, my channel and and make uh, the bell icon on and thank you for for watching